people gotta stop lying. I think that's 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 the beginning of the end. Too many, too much lies. It's too much lying. Um, and I'm not talking about just like people. I'm talking about the industry, right? Because the industry still tries to make you believe that um, if you, you know, if you a hot artist and you got a single, that selling albums don't matter, right? And I and I'm, I'm, I'm only selling like albums don't matter. Yeah, I'm only bringing this up because I seen like um, academics posted today something about Sexy Red album only doing 28,000 copies, right? In the era that I came in the music industry, if you sold 28,000 copies, you didn't get no other chance to even walk in the building again. You're fired. Like, niggas was not talking to you if you sold 28,000 records, right? And I just feel like, I feel like it's, a, it's such a disconnect between people understanding the streaming situation and then actually what you're looking at, right? Because if, if, if we should be only paying attention to the streaming numbers, then I don't understand why the blogs always try to post what people are selling as an album. Because for people that look at music the way I look at it, it feels like a failure. It still feels like a failure, right? Because I come from an era where the numbers were 80,000, 100, 200, 900, right? You start going that, that's going this way, it feels like it feels like it's going backwards to me, and I'm just saying because I was a part of the the so boom. That, so you think that the number itself is representative of the impact for real? Yes, one hundred percent. Because I I actually believe that the streaming numbers is so fucked up. Uh, five would be glow, and then six would be sexy red. But on this list that you see before you, I seen it on the internet and I was kind of confused. Now, one thing I can say about Sexy Red, I, I see her all over the place. So she definitely uh, is a hardworking individual. You know what I mean? She putting that work in, she putting that pain in. You know what I mean? But when I heard you man the pre and talk about DJ Academics basically saying that she only sold 28K copies of her album. Now, I have never seen Drake get on somebody's album and they sell that low. Normally, they're doing like 150, two something, you know what I mean? And especially with Sexy Red popularity, I don't understand how her numbers are that low. Now, a lot of people all over social media are saying that uh, the screaming thing has ruined rap and music now because music can be gotten in so many different avenues you could just get music freely you know what i mean and listen to it so it took away from how the albums used to be sold back in the day it was kind of hard as heck to go get a get rich or die trying album you know what i mean or unless you bootleg it but you, it was the process of trying to get it get get rich or die trying or you know what i mean going to get a wayne, little wayne album and stuff like that Back then, it was kind of hard to even get those albums. Now, this is easy. You could literally just pop on the page and, and hear music. You feel what I'm saying? So, it's like, I think screaming changed the game. You know what I mean? And, and, and I guess Jermaine Dupri is saying from a recruiting, uh, recruiting all you, getting all your money back type of thing. You know what I mean? From the artists. If you're only doing 28K, and I think the City Girls did uh, numbers lower than that. You know what I mean? And so it's like, are they actually, are the, the, the people they signed to actually making a benefit? And then it all depends on if they're independent and things of that nature, but the numbers are very, very low. Then it, it, this is the thing, this the spinner on it all, right? So, okay, look at Nicki Minaj. Now we got to go Nicki. See how Nicki is the queen. We can never take Nicki out of number one because Nicki Minaj is doing screaming. <laughs> She's doing it in all aspects. And then another thing about Nikki, she don't really have to have a bunch of other popular women around her to to really be established. It's like anybody that connected Nikki is getting hot because Nikki hot by herself. You know what I mean? And it's like it's crazy. Back in the days, I used to be like, what's all this hype around Nikki? And I remember when she had first came out, and everybody I know that was like, if he was the party anywhere, they was they were rapping all Nikki Minaj's lyrics, man. You know what I'm saying? So it's like Nikki is at that number one spot because Nikki is able to do it all. And Nikki development, come on, bro. 
this girl got bars, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nikki can go. You know what I'm saying? She's a what we call a goat, the dog. She got that dog in her. And I never thought so. I, I never was a, a big fan of uh, of her work and stuff like that. But what I started to notice as I got older and I still see her around, it's like Nikki can go in all different pockets. <laughs> And she's so talented. She could do a million pockets, bro. Like a million of them. It's like, it's no style that Nicki can't do. And, and do it at an elite level. She's an elite artist, right? So then you go to the sexy red. And the quality of music and things of that nature. It's nowhere near what I wouldn't even say she's near Lotto. So I'm like, how did she get number two over Lotto? In them? And I'm guessing this is reaction time. Reaction of right now. And, it's not a body of work over time. So I'm just like, how the heck? I, I don't get it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm guessing her screaming numbers are higher than Lotto, Megan Thee Stallion, Cardi B. She's blowing all of these people out of the window. And I'm just like, is that real? And I think this would go back to the Jermaine Dupri thing. Because Jermaine Dupri basically saying they're they telling a lot of lies. They're spinning a lot of stories. We kind of know how they do the YouTube. They're inflating numbers with bods and pewter stuff. Because when they project come out, they don't do the same number. We've seen that happen with the 6 9 situation. With all these inflated 100 million views and all this stuff. And then they go to the album. The album don't sell. And I'm trying to figure out what is going on with that. You know what I'm saying? So like I say, TikTok. This is what I think about it all, right? Like I said before, how hard it was to get music back in the day is compared to how it is now. And then think about the artists now. It's 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 TikTok, it's the YouTube, it's it's, it's stuff like uh uh reality TV. It's so many ways to get a bag once you got a name. Like back in the days, as far as projects and stuff like that, you had to actually go get it, or it's like Gotta burn CDs and all this extra stuff you had to do to try to get some music. You only gotta do all of that now. Everything is so easy to get now. So it's like I don't I, I don't want to use that as an excuse why the numbers are low, but I feel like it's a lot easier to get the music. But then again, I can't use that as an excuse because Nicki Minaj is still doing hundreds of thousands of copies. Travis Scott, the Drakes, the Kendricks, I mean, we can go down the list of people that's still doing those high numbers now. So, Jermaine Dupri basically saying that if she sold them type of re number records back in that day, she would be not even with a deal, nothing, because it would be nothing there. You know what I mean? My whole thing is she's popular everywhere, so they're recruiting something. They're getting the money back some type of way. You know what I mean? They're getting it back some type of way. You know what I mean? She's winning some area. And like I said before, I seen an uh, academic say this one time. He was like, some artists like that, like the uh, Cola Rays and things like that, it's best to just do singles and then get it popular on TikTok with people dancing and moving around. You know what I mean? I think that's what Glow was trying to do when she had put out the little Cha Cha Slide thing. She was trying to do a, a record. Because I think that's what the labels are trying to do nowadays. They're trying to push, push this tiktok dancing records to, to push the popularity the problem happened when they put the albums out and then you start seeing these numbers be ridiculously low you know what i mean but that's the thing that they're doing think about uh, cola ray her numbers are extremely low but when you look at her on tiktok and all these social media platforms millions and millions and millions of views but i'm thinking of nowadays the labels are having a different strategy they're having a different strategy or like they're doing with jermaine the priest and somebody lying Cause they gotta be getting the money back some type of way because these people still on their label and they still putting out music and they still you know what i'm saying so they it, they gotta be getting the money back from somewhere unless they doing it they getting it back from the concerts and stuff like that but think about that even that uh selling out arenas and, and selling out shows <coughs> you gotta get people to come out to do that you gotta have a fan base you gotta have a target audience so I'm pretty for sure they got a team around them that's strategizing those things and putting it together so the labels get their cut and the artists get their cut. You know what I mean? But the 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 agenda is to sell the records. But like I say, screaming and how easy music is to get nowadays. I, I'm trying not to use that as an excuse because Nicki Minaj's numbers is ridiculous, man. Her numbers is crazy. But I don't understand how Sassy Red got the number two spot. I'm still confused by that. That's crazy right now. But then again, it's like activity, though. The activity of the lot of the artists, because Cardi B ain't came out with the album yet. Um, 
the lotto thing slowed down. Ice Spice, a lot of people is like not really feeling that. They, it's more people feeling sexy red than Ice Spice right now. That, you know what I mean? She did it with her looks and then she had that one hit single, but it's just kind of like fading off the map. You know, and then Lotto, every time she put out something, be hot. You know what I mean? She put out a lot of fire. So I, I don't know, man. I don't know. This one of them things. Y'all get in the comment section, man. Let me know. Is this list accurate? Is what Jermaine Dupri saying is accurate? What's y'all thoughts and opinion, man? Put it right there in the comment section, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Don't forget if you're on TikTok or Instagram, hit that follow button. And all my people on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, man. Thank y'all.